Hey guys, it is me again, as you can tell. Today is uh, Friday, November 26, 2010. Makes it day 3.30 on our Project Jesus 365. Guys, I'm sorry about getting this video out so late. I know I'm even a few minutes later than I normally am, and I'm always pretty late, but um, I didn't answer comments last night, and I've been so backed up. I tell you, sometimes I do that when I get tired, you know, and I say, well, I'll just answer them tomorrow, but I tell you, I don't do that much because it you really get behind. I mean, uh, some of these guys like Mad Bad Voodoo and some of these guys that's got, that have got big channels with, you know, just a lot of viewers and a lot of comments, I don't see how they do it because if I miss one day without answering comments and just thanking people for subscribing, which I know a lot of your bigger channels, they don't, you know, they that's one reason they, that's one way they do it they don't you know because I've commented on a lot of bigger channels and never never hear back from them so I guess that's what it is but uh, and I think it's one reason Mad Bad Voodoo brother if you see this and you know you probably will I think it's one reason your channel is so popular and everybody likes you uh, you know because you, you do even though you've got a big channel you do still uh, you know you converse with people and you just don't you know you answer comments back and um, you know, I know it probably takes up a lot of your time, but that to me that means a lot. It's always meant a lot to me when I've when I've you know when I was first getting on YouTube and uh, was talking to a lot of the, you know the Christian people. I don't know how many of the big time uh, Christians that I would comment, ask them questions. Uh, well, I tell you who one of them was. He's gone now. It's Venom Fang X. Uh, I don't know how many time how many times I tried to talk to him, tried to you know ask him a question or ask him his opinion on something and never heard back uh, and I think that's one reason I, I became such good friends with Jeff uh, yoke up so quick is because uh, every time I would comment to Jeff bam he'd answer me right back and you know he's got a big channel with a lot of viewers so uh, I think that means a lot anyway I didn't want to really get into that but what I'm getting back to is it I've been sitting here for the last probably hour, hour and a half, just catching up for missing one day. So um, there's a lot to it. I mean, there really is. But like I said, I mean, even if my channel gets big like some of the other ones too someday, I'm still, you know, I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to answer all the comments and and uh, and thank people for subscribing. I just think it's the right thing to do. But anyway, guys, uh, that's one reason this is going to be a few minutes late. Um, didn't get to draw a payday today, guys. Well, I got to draw part of a payday. Uh, I guess the first two days this week and the first three days, I guess. Anyway, um, I was actually putting a little money aside every day. Just like what I was doing was I was kind of pretending like we still had the other guy working for us. So I was taking the money out every day like I would if I was been having to pay him. And just put it aside. I mean, what much? It was like 220 bucks or something. Like I said, 230. I mean, it wasn't even actually the full amount because actually I paid him more than that. But uh, I just couldn't take the full amounts some days. So uh, anyway, when we figured up this evening, we were in a little bit better shape than we were last Friday. Not much, maybe like 200 bucks better, 300 bucks, something like that. Uh, but. I had that too, like I said, two hundred some dollars that you know I had put aside, and and I asked Dad, you know, if he wanted it, or and he said, no, you keep it, you know. And he said, because it, it does, it kills him that I don't get to draw payday. I mean, you can tell it just it devastates him. But uh, you know, what do you do about it? Uh, this week, I think, if it hadn't been a holiday week, would have we would have been did have been a lot better shape because uh, even in uh, just working what four days this week so far. We, we already brought in more money than we did in five and a half last week. So I think if we hadn't had to take off uh, yesterday for Thanksgiving, you know, we'd have, we'd have been in better shape. But, you know, that's just the way it goes. I just want you guys to keep praying for me. I know I know that I know it's going to get better. We, we've talked about a lot of things we're going to do, uh, and I think that's maybe what the Lord's wanting us to do. He's, he's giving us a little kick in the pants. Uh, we're going to change a lot of things. We're changing our sign out front, and we're actually kind of we're changing the name of the business too. Um, you guys, you astute viewers, can probably tell by looking. You, I guess, you've always known it that we've actually officially went. Well, we've got a corporation that's 
nothing to do with this corporation name, but our DBA name has always been Collins Tire and Service Center. Well, you know, back in the day when we first started, that was our main business was selling tires. Uh, you know, back when the economy was good, tires weren't that expensive. Back before Tyrac.com and DiscountTireDirect.com and Walmart started selling tires. Back before all that, that's all I did. I mean, I made my living selling tires. Uh, you know, we would sell six, seven hundred a month. Uh, we were actually the, the biggest quantity tire dealer in this part of the country. I mean, all of our distributors told us that we bought more tires than anybody. And there's actually a few dealers around us that are bigger than we are, but, you know, we were still moving more tires. But, you know, over the years, like I said, due to TireRack.com and all these places, you know, we're, I just can't compete with them, you know, price-wise. And uh, Walmart... Walmart, I can. I can. I can beat Walmart tying in on tires. I don't. I, I don't know why. But people will buy tires from Walmart just because of Walmart. But anyway. Um, so anyway, our big and it has been for the last several years. Our big thing. Now I'm talking about the car side. The the four wheeler side kind of holds it holds its own. You know. Uh, last several years, our big you know thing that we do is, is mechanic work you know working on car service the service part you know even though our name has been Collins Tire and Service Center the official name uh, I still get people every week no joke guys we've been there 16 years in February It'd be 16 years in February and I and we you know it's a small town it's not like we're in New York or somewhere where nobody knows you I still get people every week that say we didn't know you worked on cars we thought you just sold tires or we didn't know you worked on cars. We thought you only worked on four-wheelers and motorcycles. Uh, so anyway, what we're going to do, I think we're going to change our name. You know, nothing officially, you know, but just our sign and things. I think we're going to change it maybe to Collins Auto Service, Collins Service Center, something like that. Just to put more in the name to tell people what we do, that we do work on cars. Like I said, I get, I get people asking me that every week. I had a guy the other day came in to buy some four-wheeler parts. And peeked his head over there and said, you all work on cars? Well, you know, we were working on a couple of cars back in the summer when we were busy. And I'm like, yeah, that's actually what we started doing. You know, we started selling tires and working on cars. Then the four-wheeler thing kind of came later. You know, we got into the ATV business selling parts and working on them. I, so I can't figure out why these people don't know what we do because that's what we actually started out doing. But anyway, we're going to do that and we're going to do a little bit of advertising. You know, we're going to try to get some flyers made and that kind of deal and uh, I don't know, maybe even later on, I, I'd like to look at maybe the possibility of maybe getting some kind of website started, you know, at least so, you know, I don't know. I mean, you're, you're not going to, a website's not going to help a whole lot on a service business because people are not going to come from, you know, people in New York or Florida or Texas or Georgia or wherever. They have no reason to need to know about me because they're not, you know, they're not going to travel to let, have their car worked on, but, um, Still, it may be something good. So, I, you know, I, we're just going to try a few things, uh, you know, but we're still here. I mean, uh, I don't have the money to do the things that I'd like to do. You know, I'd like to get my signal put in my garage out here and some other little things. Um, looks like we're not going to have any money to spend at Christmas, but that ain't no big deal. We never really spend anything at Christmas anyway. Uh, you know, we just don't believe in it. We believe that spending a big bunch of money at Christmas is foolish. You know, I don't see nothing wrong with getting a few gifts, a few little things. You know, spending a couple hundred dollars maybe if you can afford it. Uh, but you know, I've had some friends and, and people before I've knew that spend, you know, three and four and five thousand dollars at Christmas, you know, and I guess some wealthier people even more than that. You know, I just think that's that's foolish. Uh, to me, that's degrading the, you know, the, uh, you know, what it's all about. Uh, and if anybody has to chime in and says it's a pagan holiday anyway, you might as well just shut up and not even say it. I know it. Uh, but I choose December 25th to celebrate the birth of my Savior. Even though he might have been born some other day, I can still worship him on that day. So that's the reason I choose not to get into the whole commercial side of it. But like I said, I don't see anything wrong with spending a little bit of money showing people that you care about them. Uh, but anyway, guys, yeah, like I was saying, you know, uh, but you know we're going to make it. I know we're going to make it. We're, we're, we're hanging right in there. Uh, I still got a lot of people that owe me money if I could just get that. The guy that works for the county that was supposed to pay me this week, I never seen him. See, that's what gets me. You know, these people that are supposed to come pay you, give you their word on it, and then they don't show up. Uh, you know, that, that really hurts you. But uh, you guys just pray for me. Uh, keep praying, and 
And like I said, I know everything's going to work out. Mark, brother, I'm praying for you. I know that's a you know a bad situation you're going through with your dog. Uh, I've not been through it in a long time. To be honest, that's probably one reason that I've not had any really pets uh, in my adult life. Uh, Mom and Dad had a dog back before I was born that got killed on the road. You know, we lived right on the side of a major highway. And, uh, they said they would never have another animal like that. They got too attached to it. And, you know, I had a, a, some dogs get missing. We Our pets are bad about getting missing around here when I was little. and So that's one reason we've not had any really pets. Uh, just don't want to get attached to them, you know. And so I do know what you're going through, brother. Uh, now I'm gonna pray for you. I am praying for you. So anyway, guys, I know what this video is already gonna be too long. Romans chapter three, starting in verse one. I will tell you, I wish I could talk all night, but uh, we better get started. So uh, me adjust my who's it here, and we'll get started. Romans chapter three. What advantage then hath the Jew, or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly because that unto them which were committed the oracles of God. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. But if our unrighteousness commend the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous who taketh vengeance? I speak as a man. God forbid. For then how shall God judge the world? For if the truth of God hath more abounded through my lie unto his glory, why yet am I also judged as a sinner? And not rather, as we be slanderously reported, as some affirm that we say, let us do evil, that good may come, whose damnation is just. What then, are we better than they? No, in the wise. For we have pr before proved both Jews and Gentiles that they are all under sin. As it is written, this is one of my favorite verses in the Bible, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. That's the whole question about why do good things happen to, I mean, why do bad things happen to good people? Guys, there are no good people. We're all eat up with sin. We're all damned, uh, you know, we're all damned when we're born. We're, we're, we're destined to go to hell, you know, but uh, the Lord sees grace, you know, to save us. He saves us through, through the Savior, Jesus Christ. And, uh so, and even when we get saved, we still sin. We're still not perfect. You know, we're still, uh, we're, we're still trash. We're just righteous trash. You know, we, we, we have his righteousness. It's nothing to do with ours. Anyway, guys, it's already been longer than I wanted it to be. Uh, I thank you guys for being here. Like I said, just continue to pray for me. Um, uh, I am handling it better than the no money deal. Uh, I've got a couple bit, a couple. I got probably one diesel truck coming in tomorrow. That I mean, it's probably going to be a big job. Maybe take me a week or two to work on. Pray for me on that. It's really a job that I don't like doing. And if I didn't need the money so bad, I wouldn't do it. I'd turn it down. You know, I'd just say take it somewhere else, take it to a dealer, because really nobody around here can do this except me. I, I'm probably the only shop that can do this. What this truck's got to have done, and I don't like doing it. But like I said, when you're broke, you can't be turning work down. So pray for me on that. Ooh, guys, hit the remote. Uh, pray for my business, pray for my church, uh, and just pray for my family. And I'm praying for you all. So, uh, good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night. So, till I see you guys again, good night and God bless. See y'all.